Okay, I had some um, students in my finance class have problems with this with this particular problem, so I figured I'd do a quick YouTube video on it. I got this this problem came out of this book here, a very good uh, uh, a very good uh, undergraduate finance book that I use, um, and uh, so um, so basically it's a problem just to kind of get a student used to the income statement. So what they do, is this is the problem right here, and they give you these numbers on the income statement, and then they want you to calculate the depreciation expense, which is this one right here. This is this is what they want you to calculate in the end, okay? But in order to get that number, you have to do a bunch of intermediate calculations. So what I did is I took these numbers and put them into an income statement, and uh, and then I, and I, so that's what we're given. And then I stated what we want to find. I restated it. And then down here, I, I kind of got the solution going. So if you want to, you can pause the video right now and kind of see how I did this. This is all very easy to do, and I'm not going to explain it to you on this video. All I did is I took these numbers, and you can see how I put them in here. So if you want to, you could pause the video and put those in, you know, the way the way I have them. Okay, so you should have paused the video if you wanted wanted to work along with me. Otherwise, you can just watch. So, um, so, so... So now we're down here. We've taken all these numbers, put them in here, and and, and what I'm given, and I'm, then I said I restated what I want to find. So now I'm going to do the solution down here. All right. So the, first of all, we can calculate these gross profits because we know this says last cost of goods sold, and we have these two numbers from the problem, right? So this is just going to be equal to this minus this, and we can get to that. And then we can get to this again, of course, we can equal this minus this. And then uh, the depreciation, we don't have that yet, right? That's what we're that's what we're supposed to solve for. So we know we have to start working from our bottom up now. And okay, sorry, I had to pause for a second. I had a little interruption. All right, so we we, we were able to calculate down to here, but then we got to what they're asking for. So it looks like we have to start calculating up, right? So we know that... Uh, so we know they got this by subtracting whatever here. They had to subtract that to get that. So that's pretty easy. You could just do the opposite. This is equal to this plus this, right? And we know that this minus that can equal that. And that, that makes sense. Now here's the tricky part because whatever this is, minus 21% of this is equal to that. So um, if you do it with the algebra way, just let me write the equation for you here. I'll just put it right here. We know that this, we'll call this x, x minus 21% times x is equal to this right here, right? And then we could use some a little bit of math and we could, a little bit of algebra, we know 1 minus 0 0.21 times x is equal to that. So we could calculate x uh, equals, well, it's equal to, um, this divided by parentheses 1 minus, now 21% is our tax rate up here, right? And so we're going to get 1,860,759, right? So that's what this would be. Now, I actually like to use something called goal seek. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to go here, I'm going to write, I'm going to paste it somewhere here as a value just so I know what it is. We already know what it is, we have it typed here. But just if you didn't do this, you just take this as a reference. Then I could say that this is equal to whatever this is minus whatever this is, right? And we know this is equal to this times 21%, right? So this is, since this is zero, these are both zero right now. But if I would sit here and guess some numbers, now remember this needs to be 14700 zero, zero, because we know that this, this actually we know what it is, it's this plus this. But if we're working it from the top down, well this is going to be equal to um, some number here minus, right, minus this minus that number times 21% is equal to that. So what I could do is I can, I'm going to do a little bit of Excel magic here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data. What if analysis goal seek? And I'm going to say that this cell 
I want it to be, well, where do you know what it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be 1470000, right? Uh, 147, and then we want to change this cell right here. So I want to guess the cell to make this this, and if I go OK, I'll start working on it. And if, so, so we're able to do that, and it got this answer for us automatically. So you could say use goal C. Now remember, we did it using algebra. You could do it this way. If you didn't understand what I did, um, you can just use algebra. But anyway, so we got to that number finally. So now, so now this one's pretty easy because we know whatever this number is, it says less interest. So this number has to be equal to this plus this, right? And now finally we're here. Now we can kind of get depreciation. We know this minus something is this. So we know this has to be equal to this minus this. And then and that's my answer. I like to highlight my answer is yellow. And we got there. So the hard part is just getting this little part right here. You can use your use algebra or goal seek. If you did, one of the two is, you know, you can use either either way. I just wanted to show you that goal seek that that's a very powerful thing you can use if you don't like using algebra. Alright. So anyway, that's it for that question. Hope hopefully it was interesting. Um, if you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, my, 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 a picture of me will come up. And if you click on that picture, you can subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel. Um, uh, and that's it for today. Thank you.